Hello and namaste. So I just want to talk briefly on why it's so important that you take control of your health. So especially now that we have this huge health crisis, which um, I highly recommend in any case that you do some research on this because after the research I've done on this, I can pretty much say with confidence that this thing that's going around right now is less dangerous than the average flu. So that taken into account, I'm definitely not worried about it. Uh, I have no worries at all for this thing whatsoever. And I'm kind of disappointed in general in the human race that so many people are still paying attention to mainstream media because this is exactly part of the reason why we're in this situation. And it completely does not need to be at all whatsoever. So the number one thing actually to take control of your health is stop watching mainstream media <laughs> because this uh, mainstream media is completely controlled. It's completely full of lies. You can go through... Um, you know, any documents anywhere, just look up uh, Operation Mockingbird, for example, that will give you a little bit of information of how controlled the media is. And so that's number one, stop watching mainstream media, ask some questions, look at some numbers, even look at some numbers of, um, you know, past flu, the, the flu numbers from past years were several times worse than what this contrived illness currently is. So I highly suggest doing your own research about this. Um, and that's, I'm just going to leave it at that. So that's number one, taking charge of your own health. Number two, start to assess your own uh, medical issues. So like I say in yoga, and this is why I do promote yoga because what yoga is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to listen to your body. And you know your body better than anybody on the planet because you live inside your body 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So you know your body better than anybody. Okay, now I'm not saying, um, you know, in the case of a car accident and you lose a limb, okay, then you go to emergency room. This is something else. I'm saying if you're feeling a little bit under the weather and, you know, taking away the mainstream media because it's all lies, so don't even listen to it, don't even pay any attention to it. And if you are worried, do your research, get some real numbers, but taking charge of your own health and, assessing your own, you know, how you're feeling. If you start to cough, you don't need to run to the doctor. You're not going to die if you cough. You're not going to die if you have some sniffles. You know, people are like in a super panic state right now and for no apparent reason. It's because they listen to the TV and that's why. So done, no more TV. Take the TV, throw it to the curb. Done. And listen to your own body. You know, do some yoga, spend five minutes in meditation, and listen to what your body's telling you. If you're feeling a little bit under the weather, check your situation. You know, have you gone to the toilet? Uh, you know, maybe you're constipated for three days, and that's why you're tired. Maybe it has nothing to do with anything else. You know, if you don't eliminate uh, regularly, yeah, you're going to feel like crap. You're going to feel tired. You might have a headache. You might have a backache. You don't need to go to the chiropractor if you haven't gone to the toilet for three days. You just need to eat a little bit healthier, you know. You need to get some exercise. You know, keep things moving. Drink enough water. Do some, um, you know, some light walking or some light yoga that's going to stimulate um, the bowels, for example. If you're feeling a little bit of a stuffy nose, you know, Look at your history. Are you a, normally a person that suffers from allergies? You know, it's springtime in many places. All the plants are in bloom. You may be just simply suffering from some allergies. You know, since this whole, um, you know, flu virus, which I'm going to call it a flu virus because that's all that it is. 
but since this thing came up, if, you know, take a look at, you know, what's happening. It, apparently, like, allergies doesn't exist anymore. Normal flu doesn't exist anymore. Pneumonia definitely doesn't exist anymore. And no other illness exists. I mean, has anybody asked these questions? This is kind of like a red flag, like, whoa, wait a minute. What's, what's exactly going on? So apart from the fact that, you know, the people that are thinking that they control us, they have some other agenda right now. Apart from this, you know, you don't need to run out to the doctor if you sneeze, okay? Because you're not going to die. You're, you're going to be 100% okay. Assess your own situation. Ask yourself, well, you know, do you normally have allergies? So maybe you're just having allergies right now. Um, did you eat something that didn't agree with you? You know, maybe you had, uh, you know, the tomato and pizza, you know, last night and you're not feeling so well today. It's not like you have a virus, you know, maybe you just have some toxins that you put in your body. You know, anytime your body tries to get rid of toxins, you'll have, um, you might have some symptoms. You might not feel so great. And that's why when people do detoxes, a lot of the time, especially if they do a sugar detox, uh, you might actually get sick. Some people have been known to physically vomit when they start to detox sugar from their body, for example. It's completely normal because now your body has to get rid of all of these things and it just comes out of your body naturally. And the result of anything coming out of your body is going to be, you know, either uh either vomiting or you may be in, at, uh, in the toilet or you may have fever or you may have a runny nose. Anytime something comes out of your body, it means that your body's trying to get rid of it. Okay. And this is completely normal. So that's the second thing. Make sure that, you know, if you do feel a little bit under the weather, you don't need to run to the doctor because chances are you'll probably get something at the hospital uh, <laughs> with all of those people running around sick than you would if you just take care of yourself at home. Um, number three, make sure that you're eating well, that you're eating healthy foods, that you're eating fresh foods. So, you know, if you eat dead things, your body's going to be dead, essentially. And if you eat things that are fresh, it's going to give you energy and vitality. So if you're eating processed food with a lot of conservatives, a lot of sugars, a lot of, uh, you know, white flour, a lot of, you know, anything that has numbers on it or colors like red 40, yellow 20, whatever this this is not, you know, if it doesn't grow on a tree, don't put it in your body. <laughs> you know, even the things that grow on trees, we have to be careful of nowadays because it's so contaminated with pesticides. So try to do the best that you can with your diet, uh, which brings me to the point of uh, microwaving. Uh, definitely that's, uh, you know, if you have to throw away two things, throw away your TV and throw away your microwave. Uh, microwaves shouldn't even exist. You're basically just um, nuking dead food, which now you're putting more radiation in your body, which is accumulating, which is, it's normal. It's going to make you feel pretty crappy by the end of the day. And then in a situation now where everybody's stuck in their house and maybe they can't even get out for a 20 minute uh, walk, it's, you're going to feel just terrible by the end of the day and even worse by the end of the week. So Eat well, get some fresh things into your body, get outside, get some fresh air, take some movement every day, every day, even a walk of 20 minutes is excellent just to keep everything mobile, keep the joints fluid, keep the digestion moving. If your digestion works well and you have a strong digestive fire, the Agni, uh, which we call it in Ayurveda, you won't have any problems at all and you'll never get sick. If you can digest easily, you'll be okay. So, so just those things, you know, eliminate mainstream media 100%. Get rid of it because the mind 
is also going to influence the physical body. We have to remember we're all one and one influences the other. If your mind is freaking out, it's going to influence your digestion. You're not going to digest well. If you're anxious, you will not digest properly. If you're fearful, having a lot of strong emotions, you will not digest properly. properly. And if you're not digesting properly, you're not eliminating toxins properly. So just do those few things, you know, eliminate the mainstream. Um, don't run to the doctor every time because, you know, you have to have faith in your own body. You have to know that your body knows how to take care of itself. It'll be fine. And you know your body better than anybody else. Spend five minutes a day in uh, in a private quiet room by yourself and just listen to your body just listen to your breath listen to your body and just observe thoughts you know just let them pass you realize you have so many things going on in your head that don't even have anything to do with the relevant moment you're thinking of things from 10 years ago or thinking of things that may happen 10 years from now just let it go and just listen and just observe just be an observer um, make sure that you're eating right and make sure that you're getting, um, you know, enough movement, enough exercise through the day. Eliminate the TV and the microwave completely. And hopefully these uh, few tips help to help you take charge of your own health. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know if you have another way that you're taking charge of your health that has worked for you. Make sure to subscribe if you want to follow this channel and make sure to hit like if you like the video and namaste.